Imagine stepping into a spacecraft and blasting off at 1.2 million miles per hour. At that speed, you could travel from New York to Los Angeles in just 10 seconds, or from Earth to the Moon in only 12 minutes. Sounds unbelievable, right? Yet scientists have discovered a planet hurtling through space at this breakneck speed, and it might be on a one-way trip out of our galaxy. Today, we're diving into one of the most thrilling discoveries in space science, a mysterious planet orbiting a hypervelocity star that's moving so fast, it's challenging everything we thought we knew about planetary systems. Our own sun, which we often think of as stationary, is actually cruising through space at about 450,000 miles per hour with the entire solar system. That might seem fast, but it's nowhere near the speed of hypervelocity stars, which are zipping along at astonishing speeds. It's as if these stars have hit a cosmic nitro boost, racing out of our galaxy at speeds that defy expectations. So, what exactly is a hypervelocity star? A hypervelocity star is a star that moves faster than the escape velocity of its galaxy. To understand this, picture the gravitational pull of the Milky Way, which is strong enough to hold stars, planets, and everything else within its grasp. Typically, stars in our galaxy aren't fast enough to escape this gravitational grip. However, hypervelocity stars are moving so fast that they can break free from the galaxy's gravitational hold they can escape the Milky Way entirely. Astronomers have recently uncovered an exoplanet they've named Super Neptune. A Super Neptune is a planet that resembles Neptune, but is much larger. Neptune, an ice giant, is composed primarily of hydrogen, helium, and ice compounds. Super Neptunes are a step up in size, larger than Neptune, but smaller than the gas giants we know, like Jupiter. Despite being a gas giant, this planet is likely orbiting a low-mass star, much less luminous than our Sun. Because of this, even though the planet is relatively close to its star, it sits outside the habitable zone, the region where life as we know it could survive. This extraordinary discovery adds yet another layer to our understanding of the cosmos, where even the most bizarre planetary systems can exist on the edge of our knowledge. So how did scientists find this bizarre star planet system in the first place? The answer lies in a fascinating cosmic trick called gravitational lensing, first predicted by Albert Einstein. Gravitational lensing occurs when a massive object, such as a planet, star, or even a galaxy cluster, passes in front of a more distant background star or galaxy. The gravitational pull of the closer object warps space-time, bending the light rays from the distant source. This magnification causes the light from the background object to temporarily appear brighter, allowing us to detect stars, galaxies or other objects that would otherwise be too faint or hidden. One specific type of gravitational lensing, called microlensing, is especially useful for spotting hidden planets. Unlike stars, planets don't emit their own light, which makes them difficult to detect using traditional methods. However, when a planet passes in front of a more distant star, its gravitational pull can bend and magnify the light from that background star, just like how a magnifying glass works. This bending of light creates a temporary increase in brightness that astronomers can detect, even though the planet itself is invisible. By studying the light curve, which is the pattern of brightness changes caused by this microlensing event, scientists can deduce the presence of planets that might otherwise go unnoticed. In this case, the microlensing event suggested the existence of two objects. One much more massive than the other, moving together in space, which turned out to be a star and a planet orbiting it. So, microlensing provides a unique way to reveal planets that are too far away or too faint to see directly, helping astronomers find hidden worlds beyond our reach. 
In order to confirm whether these objects were a planet and a star, astronomers turned to advanced telescopes, including Keck Observatory in Hawaii and the Gaia satellite from the European Space Agency. The team compared the positions of the objects in 2011 and again in 2021 and found that they were moving incredibly fast, over 1.3 million miles per hour. By observing the changes in the position of these objects over the decade, they were able to confirm that the system was indeed moving at extraordinary speeds. The team also estimated that the system's velocity could even exceed the escape velocity of the Milky Way, meaning it might eventually leave the galaxy. This discovery is significant for several reasons. First, it's the first time a planet has been found orbiting a hypervelocity star. The extreme speed of this system challenges our understanding of how planetary systems work. We typically think of planets being securely bound to their stars by gravity. But these high speeds suggest some systems may behave in unexpected ways. If the star and planet continue at this pace, they could eventually escape the Milky Way raising questions about planetary migration and survival in such conditions. Could they already be free from their galaxy, or will they drift alone in intergalactic space? The real mystery, though, is how this planet is surviving. A planet orbiting such a fast-moving star would normally be torn apart or flung into space, yet this super-Neptune remains in orbit. Is it holding on by a thread, or could it eventually become a rogue planet, drifting alone through space? This discovery challenges everything we know about how planetary systems form and survive. One leading theory about how this star and its planet gain such incredible speed involves a massive object, possibly a supermassive black hole, acting like a cosmic slingshot. The planet and star system could have passed close to the supermassive black hole. The black hole's immense gravitational pull would have grabbed hold of the star and planet. Once the star and planet got close enough, the black hole's gravity would have hurled them away at an incredibly high speed like a slingshot, launching them across the galaxy at 1.2 million miles per hour. This slingshot effect would explain how such an unlikely star-planet system could end up travelling so fast, defying the normal rules of gravity. To fully confirm the identity of this star-planet system, astronomers will need to conduct more observations in the coming years. New telescopes, like the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, set to launch soon, will help us study these high-speed systems in greater detail, revealing more about how stars and planets interact in extreme environments. The discovery of a hypervelocity star with a super-Neptune planet in tow is a reminder of just how mysterious and awe-inspiring our universe is. We've only just begun to scratch the surface of space's wonders, and discoveries like this promise to open new doors to our understanding of the cosmos. If you love space mysteries like this, hit the like button and subscribe to Noesis Corner.